Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and it, welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial series which is PHP file upload system and in this tutorial video we're going to be having a look at how to list the files that have been uploaded on to our homepage. So if you notice that in our homepage here we have actually uploaded a file in the last tutorial video but nothing has been shown here to indicate that the files actually exist in the upload folder. So we always have to be looking at the upload folder to check and we don't want that. So we're going to actually read that upload directory and actually list out all the files that have been uploaded there okay so back in our index.php file we open our h2 tag after the form um, after the form for uploading files and we just give it a data there of files so next let's open our php tag and inside there we first going to create a handle for our uploads folder so we say handle variable equals to open directory and inside that we pass in a string which is the path to our uploads folder so first before we do anything we do a check to say if handle so that will return true if actually it was successfully opened the directory so we're going to have a while loop here that actually keeps reading as, there are, as long as there are more files it keeps reading the directory and gives us an entry for the current file and that is going to be stored in a variable called entry so anytime we loop through we're going to store it in a variable entry and we use that function called read directory which actually um, accepts a handler which we created instant at the first instance here and we're going to check if that function read directory does not return false to us so we're going to do a check here say not e double equal to false that is if there are more files to read just go ahead and actually do something inside here so we check that entry is not equal to dot or entry I'll explain in a moment what those mean or entry is not equal to dot dot so basically um, if we're doing a read if we're reading directories always every directory has this um, file inside it so, sort of this means that the current file we're in and this means that the um, the top level file above that so every, this will be returned and this will return and we don't want to do anything when those two have been returned so we'll do a check to make sure that the current um, file that we're reading are not either of those so if they are not we actually just echo an, an anchor tag here so say a tag give it a href of just um, escape these two because we can't have a double code inside double code and we just say uploads um, another variable uploads and forward slash entry and inside here since entry has the name of the file that we're currently reading we actually just leave it here and last but not the least we close the directory so close there and pass it the handle that we used to open it initially so now let's go ahead if we don't have any errors the file that we just uploaded should be listed here when you refresh so we refresh and the file has been shown here but if you notice that um, what what these strings here are being shown and that's because that's you know the strings that we've been trying to avoid this dot dot here and this this simple dot. The reason is because I did not put an and here instead of an or. I put an or instead of an and, so that was the reason. So let's go back now and actually refresh. So yeah, that fixed it. So as you can see, the upload file, the file that we uploaded in the last video, has been shown on the list of files here. So as you upload more files, I mean they will be shown here. So let's click on that, and that takes us to the file so as you can see the file actually has been successfully uploaded so that's it guys for this tutorial video um, in the next tutorial video we're going to be having a look at how to allow multiple image types to be uploaded so as of now we can only upload PNG files if we try uploading a JPEG it's going to fail because we are actually only checking for PNG so when we do an upload it says sorry file type not allowed so we're going to see how to implement that in the next tutorial video. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this was really useful. If it was, please rate, subscribe and comment down below.
And um, I shall see you in the next tutorial video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.